Hello and welcome to another video of me just rambling about random stuff and um, sharing my experiences and maybe it might help you with something or not or maybe it's just entertainment. Um, it's just something that I wanted to share. So, um, eh, so there on social media, I don't do a lot. I have Twitter and that's it. And I don't spend a whole lot of time on there. Um, there was somebody who is is kind of well, I'd say in the public eye, I guess with uh, people who are the wear and wake, uh, so like alternative media, and there's somebody that is um, in that realm. Um, and uh, they put a request out to who, well, who is your, I guess, hero, who inspires you that, that I should interview? So they want to do some interviews, which is great, because if you can share what's going on right now with whatever that's uh, in the the headlines. So we know that there's uh, conflict going on on the planet. There's earth changes on the planet. You know, um, what do you call it? Uh, earthquakes and, and all sorts of things. Um, there's um, medical type of situations going on right now. Um, there's all sorts of different things. I mean, it doesn't take much to look at either uh, the media or social media or alternative media to see there is lots to talk about so this is somebody as I say that's in the 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 public eye of people who are aware of awake in the what I would guess alt alternate uh, alternative media and so they put that request out who should I interview who's your heroes who do you want to hear from and I thought that's a really good idea so I um, emailed not emailed I replied through Twitter and said um, well, for me, the real heroes are the people that I know personally who are uh, putting leaflets through doors, who stand in the town square um, with a yellow board or standing on the, the roundabouts with a yellow board, um, who are uh, getting people to sign petitions, who are doing all sorts of things to affect change in their community. Now, uh, do I think certain things will help? So I'm not I'm not looking for um, an argument or a discussion of whether a petition helps or doesn't help or voting helps or doesn't help because everybody's got their opinions about it, which is fine. And we've all got to come from what we feel we can add to the the uh, the situation that's going on now. So we all think we know how we can help to make things better, and we've got to do our bit, whatever that consists of. So there's no judgment whether you think. Of, petition is worthwhile or not what I'm saying is it's those people that are doing the things out in in communities that I think are worth interviewing because these people work a lot of these people work full-time jobs um, and they're doing this stuff on the weekends and they're part-time they still have families to look after and all the rest of it so they're um, and, and it's no uh, it's no disrespect for someone who's maybe um, pretty um, comfortably off that doesn't have to kind of go to an office every day or go to a job every day maybe they don't have children or small children um and it was interesting because uh this individual liked my my tweet but they didn't come back to me and say oh this is an interesting idea so who would you recommend that i talk to um and i feel so i i, I took away a, a few things from that so on the one hand i thought okay so is it you're just looking to interview people that we know about who we consider famous or well known? Is it because you're looking for some popularity? Don't know. Could be. Could be an ego thing. Or is it you're looking for more clicks? Are you looking to build a YouTube channel? You're looking to have more followers, more supporters, more whatever. So that's one option. Um, it may be that they thought about it and thought, would well, you know to interview someone that lives in, you know, Oxford or wherever? I mean, it could, it could be anybody in any town, any town UK. Uh, maybe they didn't think they would have anything interesting or relevant to say. I don't know. So um, I'm not sure why this person didn't think that was a good idea and think to follow it up. But, you know, so like I said, there could be some sort of ego thing you know I want to be the hero the savior because some people are are on the trip right now that's their that's just the part they're playing right now there are some people who are doing that but you know if we are to affect change I believe one of the best ways we can do it is to interview these people that live in the towns and villages and cities in the UK who are just normal people 
who go to jobs, who have families, but in their spare time, they are handing out leaflets, or knocking on doors. They may even be running for some sort of local election. They may be helping someone who's running for local election. Uh, they may be creating petitions, signing petitions. They may be creating websites. They may be doing all sorts of things in, in just in their community. They might be setting up cooperatives of various things, maybe cleaning the streets or, um, I don't know, helping people who are struggling because of the way, you know, mon money is very tight right now. So maybe um, cooperatives uh, that help people who can't afford. So there are a lot of people doing a lot of things to affect change. I mean, Oxford, we know, is coming up with these, um, the traffic restrictions and all that. And there's a lot of people who are doing campaigning against that. Like they said, putting leaflets through doors or standing on the, the roundabouts with the yellow signs and getting the, the word out and the information out to people who care to listen or care to learn. And the more that this happens, the more it will affect change in these smaller communities. And I think to interview something like that would be, for, for me, it would be like a gold, it, it'd be like gold because um, when you see someone that you can identify with. So if I watch an interview by some big person who is very well off and they live in London and, you know, they are, we know, we, we may know them from mainstream TV, TV media, but maybe now they're all on ter alternative media because whatever they had to say about the last three years is getting them shut down. So, you know, you mention a name. Oh yeah, I know who that is. I, you know, they do a stand up or they do a news column or they do whatever. And if it's someone we all know, we can't really relate to them. Even if the message they're saying is resonates with us. We don't relate to them because we don't know how they live their life. It is different. It's removed from what most people live. But if you interview someone that lives in a town or a village or a small community um, who's doing a lot of stuff to affect change, then it gets people watching that going, do you know what? If they can do it, if, if they can help with this process and getting change, whether getting a tra travel restrictions or traffic restrictions stopped or, or amended, or whatever it is, any kind of anything, legislation, laws, mandate, whatever you want to call it. If you interview someone that is doing that work in, a, in the community, and someone from that community watches it, then they're more likely to align with it and think, well, then I can give them two hours a week or whatever. And that's when you're likely to build your community, because I think the times that we're headed towards is going to be less of a uh, centralized system. So it's going to be local systems that's going to be important. So it's going to be important to be able to connect with everybody in your local community because there might be someone who's really good at sharing certain resources about off-gridding or um, growing fruits and vegetables or, or actually um, distributing fruits and vegetables, um, you know, buying from a grower and distributing them in a, in a locale. I mean, there's there's so many different skill sets that people have in these coming times. Some people I know are really good with communication, writing letters, doing speeches, um, going to council meetings and speaking up. And it's going to take cre it's going to take showing people that these people exist in the community to where you build your community, if that makes sense. If you're if I just constantly watch videos and, and, and offerings from people that live in, in like I said live in London and we know who they are because they've got big names and lots of following, I don't relate to them. And chances are when I'm done watching that, I'm gonna kind of tune off from it. But if I watch someone, you know, old Mary that lives in my local town who's doing these certain jobs, I can think, well, you know, she just lives here and she's doing these things and i can i can contact her and perhaps we can have a coffee and she can tell me how i can help do this and the more people do that the more you're going to build your community so uh when it comes back to this idea of somebody saying you know i have a platform now people know and this is someone that people know in the awaken aware community i have a platform now who can i interview who's been an inspiration well the answer for me is interview people in communities so then they can build their own communities within their communities because that's the future is going to be local. 
Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to share is this observation of, you know, missing a trick. <laughs> you know, that's a great way of building, especially if you've got someone who people know. People know this person. People will watch their channel. And you're going to get someone from the country. If some, You're going to get people from these different areas, someone who might live in, let's say someone that lives in, I don't know, Northampton that's doing a lot of great stuff there. And then you get some people tuning in that live in Northampton. Oh, well, I can do this. So anyway, I'm not going to rattle on any longer. Thank you for listening. Um, and as I say, it's just the random, random ramblings from, you know, an old lady. <laughs> Thank you for listening. And have a wonderful day wherever you are on planet Earth. Much love and namaste.